Doc Hernandez. And here with me is Miss Jamie Alexandra Moron. And we are reporting from the studio of DBS Patrol. An unthinkable increase of likes and shares in the official DBS Patrol social media accounts this morning. Triggered by a simple video of a well-known patron saint. Hmm, I'm curious of could it be. Here's Miss April Samantha Costales our DBS News Patroller for the Lives of Saints. Thank you! We are truly blessed to have saints to look up to, right? Their lives show us how, it, how possible it is to serve God and love our neighbors. And all of these great saints is no other than the saint whose feast day we celebrate today, Blessed Luigi Barriara. Come! Let's get to know him. Luigi Barriara was born in Viarigi in the province of Asti on the 15th of January 1875 to a deeply Christian family. His father Pietro had heard of Don Bosco in 1856 when he came to the village to preach a mission. He decided to take Luigi to, to Valdocco to continue, to continue his studies. The saint would die four months later. When he finished his secondary schooling, he asked to be a solution. He entered the novitiate on the 17th of August, 1891. He did his studies in philosophy at Valsalicia, where he came to know Andrew Valtrani. He was impressed by the joy that Valtrani underwent the sufferings of his illness. 1894, Father Unia, the famous missionary to the lepers living dead in Agua de Dios, was at Valsalice to choose a cleric who would look after young lepers. Fixing his gaze on Luigi, amongst the 188 others who had the same intention. He said, this one is mine. He arrived in Agua de Dios on the 6th of August, 1894. The mission numbered 2,000 people, of whom the 188 were lepers. As soon as Luigi arrived, he became the heart and soul of all who live there, especially the children. Organized the and brighten people's lives. We not expected victory to be. In 1898, he was ordained. He became a spiritual excellence, spiritual. In 1905, he finished the Father Union Kindergarten, a place that could accommodate 150 orphans and lepers, and guaranteed that they could learn something with which to earn a living work and help them fit into society in the future. The great logic was born something in the future, and I was thinking that would be for his patient. There he was cared for 
by Salishan Cooperator Rodolfo Fasini. But his health was soon to worsen and he died on February 1, 1923 at 48 years of age and 24 of priesthood. Far away as his obedience demanded from his beloved lepers and his sisters. He was buried in Kokota and in 1932 his remains were transferred to the, to the chapel of his sisters in Agua de Dios, where they remained. Pope John Paul II proclaimed him blessed on April 14, 2002, along with five others that included the Silesian brother, bro, brother Artemide Jati, and the Silesian sister, Sister Maria Rosmero Menises. like him by being a good child to your parents, dear teachers, and dear classmates. Back to you, Nathan and Jamie. Thank you, Ariel. That was a great narration of the life of Blessed Luigi Barriara. That's all for our breaking news. Always remember that the, that the saints serve as an inspiring guide on how to love God with all our gifts talent with all our mind, heart, and strength. God worked in their lives and so we must allow God to work in our life as well. We can do this if we pray, listen to our elders, receive Jesus spiritually in the Eucharist, even online since we are on a lockdown or quarantine. Again, this is Jamie Alexandra. And this is Nathan Jack Hernandez. Thank you for watching DBS Patrol.
fix my eyes on him, my creator, my living savior.